SGD Tech Blazer Awards celebrates those who champion the spirit of innovation. Here are the stories of our finalists. So the reason why we put this award is because uh, it proves that as students, you don't have to just focus solely on just studies, but you can do so much more. Just by being focused and by doing things that you love, and doing things that you feel have the most impact to society. Why I also joined this awards is to make sure that there is more youth entrepreneurship in Singapore. Because I really believe that youth entrepreneurship is something we need to focus on more. And by achieving you know, awards, by participating in awards, I think it would inspire more of them to come forward, which is something that we critically need as a society. So the reason why we came to this award with this solution was to actually bring it to a larger audience to ultimately increase productivity in Singapore. This project has participated in this SG Tech Award last year and we actually only got into the semi-finals and then this year we think that we, we have a better product and then that we want to try it again. I think the most important thing during the judging process is to be confident in what I have done. So some of the judges, they asked me some questions and gave some suggestions which I thought were quite interesting and could add a lot of value to my project. So basically during the competition itself, the judging panel, they actually asked questions that were actually related to the industry specific. You know, we actually found the importance of having, you know, uh, built a, even an advisory panel of people from the industry to actually help us go along this journey to actually help to make sure our commercialization stage is actually on the right track. I think when my team and us first started, we actually thought it was a cool idea, a cool product. As we began talking to a lot of clients, a lot of like partners, we realised there's a huge commercial uh, potential. So that's when we became super focused into commercialization. Uh, when my team and I managed to complete the whole queues, I was um, excited that um, this uh, kiosk, uh, we can market out, out the, the uh, SME companies right, to, to buy our queues. Uh, positive feedback is, was given by other companies that we have managed to deploy uh, previously. Right now is a critical inflection point for us where we have uh, validated this uh, problem and it's really time for us to accelerate into the future whereby we get more funding, we get people who, who can back this project and yeah, we really look forward to it. For now, I plan to finish up my studies first and along the way just try to explore and find out different, different kind of things that I enjoy. Perhaps in the future, if I decide to try out something in tech and innovation, I feel that this experience will be very, very beneficial. But I think the soft skills you get from school is also very important. And, and I mean, in a setting such as uh, institution or university here in Singapore, you get exposed to different resources, um, different professionals, and you get ideas thrown around, you learn things. And I mean, part of that whole education system actually builds you as a, not only a student, but an entrepreneur as well. And so, yes, definitely there are some challenges balancing school as well as entrepreneurial work. But at the back of my head, what was there was that purpose. The fact that, you know, if I build this, if I'm successful, it can save lives. So that's the thing that uh, drove me on.